Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today we're taking a look at the iOS 17 settings and I will show you guys 17 settings that I believe every iOS 17 user must turn off on their device. Now I did show you a video where I showed you settings that you should change. Now we only have settings that I believe you should completely turn off on your device. And we're starting things off by going to the face ID and passcode settings. You know, with iOS 17, we have a new option here that actually allows you to use the old passcode for the next 72 hours. So let's say you change the password today, for the next three days, you will still be able to use the old password to actually unlock your device. It will work just like the new passcode, and this is just in case you forget the new passcode that you just set. But this might be useful sometimes, but if you have changed your password because some someone might have seen your password or you just someone who has learned your password and that's for security reasons of course you want to tap right here expire previous password now which means that that password now won't be available for the next 72 hours but it will be expired right now so from now on you will be able to only use the new password next up we're going to the phone app so go to your phone app and at your contacts press on your card at the top of your contacts and this is what you will see now you will have the settings here for contact poster and photo so what you will have here is the option with who you want to share your contact poster and of course your picture so you will have here share automatically so you will have to actually choose always asks so you don't just want to like share your poster and your picture with everyone that's on your contacts probably you have a lot of phone numbers there someone that you don't want to share your photo or your poster with so choose ask always so every time iOS want to share your photo and your poster it will of course ask you before doing that next up we're talking about another new feature of iOS 17 and that's the feature that allows to share via airdrop by bringing devices together now that's actually quite cool but it's really annoying sometimes if you just like bring two iPhones together sometimes maybe by accident you have two iPhones close together they will basically start name dropping or just sharing stuff so what I suggest you do is head on to your settings go under general airdrop and just switch off here bring device together which means that you will save a bit of battery and of course you won't be annoyed by your iPhone trying to like name drop every time you place it near another iPhone the next setting can be found here under the standby settings the standby, of course, is the new mode that Apple has added with iOS 17. It's pretty cool, but it has some like settings that I suggest you better change. One of them can be found here under night mode. So what this will do, the night mode will basically have this option called motion to wake. So standby will turn on when to, will turn on the display when motion is detected so every time it detects motion it will actually just turn on the screen of your device so if you don't want that to happen make sure you go ahead and switch the setting off and another really important setting right here in the standby mode which i suggest you must absolutely turn off is show notification so basically this option will show notifications on the standby screen all the time so what you're doing here is if you, if you just leave your iphone on the standby mode let's say you're at work you leave it on the desk or something it will show the notifications on the screen of your phone maybe you're not even close to your phone and it will still display your notifications maybe something really important something really private that you don't want to share with anyone and it will still show them on the screen of your device like an iMessage or something like that so make sure you go to settings standby and switch off here show notifications moving on under the iMessage settings so go to messages here under settings you will find here a section for messages apps so what you will find here is a list of apps that support iMessage of course there will be like a ton of different apps here and maybe apps you will never use or never need so what I suggest you do so you don't have a ton of like apps showing up on the iMessage app go ahead check these apps and of course turn off the apps that you don't believe you need or you don't want to use in the future you can just switch them off right here 
Next up, we're moving under sounds here. So with iOS 17, Apple has added a few like changes here. So go to sounds and haptics and go to haptics. And what I would suggest you do here is just choose haptics to play when your iPhone is on silent. So we will have the option here that says play in silent mode. Don't always play haptics because of course the vibration motor on your iPhone consumes a ton of battery. So if you just want to save some battery, just go ahead and just choose here play in silent mode. So you will have vibrations only when your iPhone is in silent. In my case, I just choose never play because I don't really like the haptics when, when my iPhone like vibrates and something like that. So I just choose never play that way. I will of course not get annoyed by the vibrations and also save a ton of battery. Moving on into Siri and Search and with iOS 17, we used to have of course the old hey word which was quite annoying a lot of times and now we have an even more annoying word just say the name of of course Siri and it will actually just launch Siri on your iPhone. So that sometimes might be really annoying and will probably launch Siri a lot of times without you wanting that to happen. What I would suggest you do is just switch to Hey Siri or just switch it off completely. There it goes. So switch it off completely. If you very rarely use Siri, you can just go ahead, switch it off that way. You can, of course, just invoke it using the side button. Now with iOS 17, Apple has added a new feature to screen time. I think this is a feature that is useful for like a very limited number of people, maybe like young children or just someone that actually needs this, but most people won't actually need this feature because sometimes it's really annoying. It is called screen distance and what it does, it basically like measures the distance from your face to your phone and will just like block your screen so it won't let you work on your iPhone until you move your iPhone further away. I've used this feature like for a couple of hours when iOS 17 got released on its first beta and I found it to be actually really annoying so I suggest you switch it off from here. Next up, we're moving to some older settings, but they are also still very, very important. One of them will be found here under battery. Go to battery health and charging and you will find here clean energy charging. Now, what this will do is will basically reduce, like try to reduce your carbon footprint by just charging your iPhone when lower carbon emissions are available but that way it will also slow down the time that your iphone charges like really a lot so whenever you need your iphone to charge really fast this will slow down the charging process of your iphone so if you don't want that to happen make sure you switch it off from here Next up, we're moving under notifications. Something really important here for your privacy. Go to notifications and you will find here something called screen sharing. Make sure you always have this turned off. Now, what happens if you have this setting turned on? Whenever you're sharing the screen of your iPhone, may maybe via SharePlay, someone will be able to see your notifications. So you get a notification, your share playing your iPhone's notifications will show on the screen of your iPhone. And of course, if you have previews turned on for your notifications, you have something, something private there, everything will be shown on the screen. So the way that doesn't happen is by switching off the setting right here. Next up, we're moving under seller. So go to your seller settings and scroll all the way down. You will find actually here two different settings. One is called iCloud Drive and one iCloud Backup. Now, what these will do is that when you're not connected to your Wi-Fi network, they will actually use your seller data to just upload files to the iCloud Drive and also backup via iCloud so it uses your seller data. Now, of course, if you have an unlimited data plan, you can use these, there won't be no problem. But if you have a limited data plan, just know that these two options will actually consume a lot of your data so if you're just trying to save data make sure you have both of these turned off that way your iCloud backup and your iCloud drive files will go to the cloud whenever you're connected to a Wi-Fi network moving on again under sounds and haptics scroll all the way down here and you will find keyboard feedback now what this will do is we'll give you two options you will have sounds and haptic feedback now i kind of like the haptic feedback for the keyboard but not the sounds there so these two options will actually consume battery of course the haptic feedback on the keyboard actually does consume a lot of battery because it has the haptic engine all the time working and if you type a lot on your device you will find this actually 
consuming a ton of battery what i suggest you do if you just want to save a bit of battery make sure you have these two options turned off Another setting that I believe actually consumes a ton of battery is a feature called Rise to Wake. You can find it here under Display and Brightness. There it is, Rise to Wake. This is one of the settings that I always keep off on my device. It's kind of cool maybe. You pick your iPhone up from a table, it wakes up the screen, or you just get it out of your pocket, it wakes up the screen. But it actually has sensors working all the time waiting for that pickup or just getting your iPhone out of the pocket and it consumes a ton of battery. Make sure have it switched off as well now something that is actually maybe not that important to us but also will work in the background a lot and will consume battery are analytics and improvements so head on under your privacy and, and security here and just scroll all the way down you will find analytics and improvements and you will have here share iCloud analytics you will have iPhone and watch as well so you can just go ahead and switch all of these off because they are not that important to you won't do anything for your iPhone will just like work in the background consume CPU power and battery power as well now one mistake that I see a lot of people do on their iPhone is leave downloads on podcasts on all the time. Now what this will do is that it actually will just take a ton of space on your iPhone. Now podcasts are of course a lot of them, most of them like over an hour long and they take up a lot of space. So you will have here download when saving. What this does it actually just downloads every podcast local in your device once you have saved it into the app make sure you have that turned off and then you will have automatically download here so make sure you always have this off as well because you can see right here if you just have any of these options it will actually download a ton of different episodes taking up a lot of space on your iphone and last but not least, we're moving here under the X to build the settings. Head on to Siri here. Let's just find Siri. And then we will have this option here called, called Always Listen for the Hey Word. Now, this actually will just consume a ton of battery on your iPhone. Having your iPhone all the time being ready to hear that word always listening for that word will of course just consume a ton of battery and cpu power as well and most likely you will actually invoke Siri a lot of times by accident you don't want to do that you want to go ahead and switch the setting off from here so that is it for this video guys these are 17 settings that i believe every iphone user on ios 17 must switch off on their device right now hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure to leave a like and of course subscribe for more videos and i will see you on the next one